man, you were 17 it's once. Horrible. Did you did you drop your pants and tell people? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know, answer that. You know what, Debbie? Let me don't assure you. That. Let me assure you. If I did, I would not be directing you to that website. <laughs> saying that the media is controlled by right wingers is kind of like saying that Karen Mannheim is thin just because today she ate nine slices of pizza instead of ten. I used to say that the WNBA were the female firefighters of pro sports, and. <laughs> And women in, in who are firefighters are the WNBA players of, of pro firefighting. And I'm glad to finally have James Carville as, as a supporter of capitalism. If an intern has a congressman's private page or phone number, would that tell you something? Yeah, that tells you she's definitely sleeping with him. When these women start fighting for men to be part of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, then I'll know that they really care about equality. Martha Burka is attempting to blackmail Burka. him into doing Whoa. this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, she's one of the women I'd like to see in a burqa. South Korea doesn't have M&M. If it weren't for us, they would be a province of Iraq. Our whole justice system has turned into is the farcical OJ trial. Mr. Spicoli has spent too much time smoking pot, <laughs> and he should not being met by by you or by real heads of state. Who Hello, was the lady from Southfield, Michigan? An attorney. An attorney, yes. Did she pass the bar? <laughs> Not everybody can be an anchor at CNN. CNN is exclusive. They pick who they like and who looks good. Are we going to have this women's club now fighting so that ugly women can be anchors? The fact <laughs> is that not everybody can be They're a member not, of that CNN does not anymore. discriminate based on categories of people. <laughs> I can can't I, even respond to that. It, I don't it, know. Ugly men would it be out of line to propose to Debbie at this point? <laughs> is that, I, I tell you what, she, you know, that's the point. If the nominated, point is, I will not serve. If elected, I will not run. Uh, and I don't blame it. There's no impression necessary with Ms. Dr. Al Arian. The fact is, he is the Islamic Jihad frontman in America. The records are quite clear. The FBI affidavits are quite clear. This man um, has brought in people into the United States who are terrorists on these visas. They all register to vote illegally so that they can use that as ID to do terrorist operations from other countries. One of those people was Ramadan Abdullah Shala, who's now the head of Islamic Jihad, um, operating out of Syria. And frankly, I don't think President Bush should be hanging out with any of these. All, right, people. We have to all of these so called civil rights groups um, of Arab American leaders, including the AAADC, all fought against these counter terrorist laws, including the one that made giving money to these groups illegal. But the fact is that regardless of whether or not it was illegal to give to these groups humanitarian operations, it was always illegal to fund terrorist operations. Which and I have, have no right here a speech, excuse me, I have right here a speech where this man identifies himself as the active arm of the the Islamic Jihad movement. Now, the Islamic Jihad movement has never done anything that's Look. humanitarian. But I'll Look. tell you what they did do: they killed Elisa Flato, who is a New Look. Jersey was a New Jersey citizen, a U.S. citizen. He had ties to the 1993 bombers of the World Trade Center. He has ties to Islamic Jihad all over the Middle East. I mean, you have the fundraising letter, Bill, and I also have the script um, translated from Arabic. But I do speak a little bit of Arabic. And the fact is, he said, D "Let us damn America." America, damn their lives until death. Why do we stop? And he talked about how he is the active arm of Islam. Of All right, Islamic but that was 1980. What the Washington mystics draw very well here in Washington. A lot These of lesbians, but not you know, enough mainstream well, you people. Well, you stop with the lesbians. It's I, I like for a woman to be a good sport. athlete, she has to be a lesbian. That's so Mar ridiculous. Mar no, no but that's, that's who the fans are of the WNBA because none of them are good no, looking. You're, nobody, you're cares. Saying, nobody cares how these people do on the court. The fact is, sports is entertainment, and until people appreciate that it's yes, entertainment, yes. and people who are good looking are the ones that draw crowds in sports entertainment, they're never going to get it. But to be Margo, a good female Margo, athlete, you don't you have understand. to be lesbian. That you every right winger ends up attacking the gays. So we start out with sports. I didn't attack the gays. I just said you can't put a sports league on them. I Chris, first of all, 98% of the Palestinians are under the control of Yasser Arafat and have been for years. So if anybody's occupying them, it's Yasser Arafat and the Palestinian Authority. That's number one. Number two, this is clearly about only one thing, and that's anti-Semitism on the part of this group. This group is boycotting Howard Schultz for one reason, because he's Jewish. The fact is, all of these other things that they said that you did not read from their statement that they've been sending out on email uh, were made up. They claimed he said that Jews should rise up at any and defend Israel at any cost. He never said that. They just lied. 
And Chris, I want to tell you something about the group that Mr. T um, Taya is from. Mm -hmm. American Muslims for Global Peace and Justice was founded by a guy named Mahbub Khan. He's the guy that brought in Al-Qaeda deputy Ayn al zawahiri in his Chris. mosque in 1995. Kind of what he said was that anti-Semitism is on the rise all over the world. Mm -hmm. He said the Middle East is not just isolated. Mm -hmm. This guy is putting words into his no, mouth. I'm this group was founded by a guy who was raising money for Al-Qaeda in mm -hmm. his mosque. He brought Ayman al-Zawahiri into his Santa Clara mosque. This is what this group is about. No, I'm